there are two cartels in Mexico that are primary drivers of this devastation in our communities. It's the Sinaloa cartel and Jalisco cartels. They are mass producing fentanyl at alarming rates and driving addiction in the United States. DEA is aggressively targeting them. We're hyper-focused on their leadership, on their distributors, and how are they getting the precursor chemicals. And we're targeting the precursor chemicals as well to try to mitigate the threat to the United States. Simultaneous to those efforts where we're targeting the cartels, DEA is also, um, we're, we have an initiative called One Pill Can Kill. It's a public awareness campaign to let the public know about how dangerous fentanyl is and that one pill can truly kill if you obtain it from these illegitimate sources through these illegitimate means. I've sat with families uh, that have lost a loved one in this exact scenario where their family member or their loved one took a pill, just one pill, and had no idea that it contained fentanyl. And then when they took it, they overdosed and died. And now they're dealing with that tragic loss. And DEA has uh, bonded with these families. We've held summits with these families to try to bring awareness and attention to this deadly threat and have created this PSA, One Pill Can Kill, to alert the public of the dangers of fentanyl. So DEA Take Back program is twice a year, uh, a spring and a fall designated collection time where people can bring uh, unused or unneeded or expired medications to be properly disposed of. It's a free service, it's anonymous. Uh, you can show up during these two events drop off whatever it is that you'd like to drop off, no questions asked, it's completely anonymous, and DEA will take those drugs out of the medicine cabinets of these homes and get rid of them properly so they can't be diverted and be abused.